In this video, we'll have a look at Spotfire's data connectors. One of the common buzzwords today is big data. And that's because we have petabytes of data that are constantly being created, more so than ever before in history. The fact is that we've got so much data coming in that we need effective, efficient ways to manage that data. And there are specific types of databases and platforms that are built for handling big data, huge volumes of data coming at increasingly higher rates. So what Spotfire has done is they've created native connectors for applications like Apache's Hadoop and Hive, Oracle's SBase, SAP HANA, NetWeaver Business Warehouse, Teradata, Neteza, Cisco's Composite Information Server, Cloudera Hive, and many others. Now, to install these connectors, a Spotfire administrator must first deploy the relevant connector package on the Spotfire server. The connector is then automatically distributed to clients that log into that server. In many cases, you need the connector and you also have to install the driver on the machine with the data connector on it. Okay, so you can see here on this page, and I will include all the URLs for these pages in the README for this video. And you can see that we've got quite a few and we've got some information about those, including the data source, the driver, the Spotfire software that's required, authentication methods, and whether or not encryption or SSL support is included. Now, over on the Spotfire database drivers page from the community, you'll also find a link to all the drivers that you need. And these link out to the various sites where these drivers are hosted. And you install them there. On the TIBCO Spotfire Connectors page, on the product documentation page, you can get all the information that you need about all of the connectors, including how to install them. Now, once the connector is installed and configured, you would treat it just like you would any other data link. So you can save a shared connection to the Spotfire library, or you can add a local data connection to your Spotfire analysis file. Now, here's the installation manual for the Spotfire connectors. And this was released in May of 2016, so it's fairly recent. And it contains all the information that you'll need to install all the Spotfire connectors. And then you install the drivers to go along with those. And then you can attach to any of the big data databases that are out there, including, as I said, SAP's HANA. Apache's Hadoop Hive, Cloudera's Hive, and so on. So there's Spotfire support for most of the current and common big data databases. Okay, so in this video, we looked at Spotfire's data connectors.